previously on Velocity Labs. Let's make sure not to turn that guy. Oh, son of a... All right, so in the last episode, I was fixing my cruise control, and uh, when I took the steering wheel off, I'd found that the previous owner had completely stripped the threads on the steering shaft. Here, let's take a look. It's pretty bad. I tried to re-thread a nut on there, and it won't catch at all. The threads are just completely mangled. So what we have is two options to try fix this. We can try recut the threads with a tap and die set, and uh, if that doesn't work, we're gonna have to replace the steering shaft itself, which is a huge pain in the butt. So let's hope that the tap and die set works. So let's hop over to Harbor Freight and grab one. Uh, if you can't find one locally, I also linked uh, a set on Amazon in the description. Okay, so we're at Harbor Freight and they have a 40 piece set uh, for under 20 bucks. They also have a smaller set that's only 10 bucks, but uh, I don't think it'll have all the, the, the sizes that we're gonna need. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get the bigger set. And we're back in the garage. Now we need to figure out exactly what size to use. So let's open these up. So I'm hoping we're going to be able to cut through this whole mangled mess and then cut through the couple remaining good threads as well. So the whole thing is re-threaded with the same thread pitch. All right, so here's our unboxing video of our $15 Harbor Freight Special Tap and Die Set. I don't expect this to be the greatest uh, tap and die set in the world, but hopefully it will get the job done. And I don't have a lot of money, so $15 is right in my price range. Ooh, it's carbon steel. Fancy. All right. Instructions, don't need those. There's a lot of dies. All right, so. N12 by 1.5 looks like it might work. N10 by 1.5. N10 might be a little small. I guess we just kinda, kinda gotta eyeball it. Try the M12 and M10. Let's go take a look at those. All right, so M12 looks to be about right. I think that's gonna cut some pretty deep threads. M10, there's definitely enough, but that's getting pretty small. So we are gonna try M12 by 1.5. That looks about right. So let's grab uh, the old wheel. And we just take our little tap thingy, pop it in here. So this is, has a, uh, a little notch on the uh, top part there. Line that up with the screw. Clamp that screw down, start cutting threads. So I'm gonna find a screwdriver and tighten that up first. All right, that's nice and snug. Now all I gotta do is uh, ideally cut some new threads. So you wanna take this slow. Once you get on there a few turns, back it up, go back over them again. Do this nice and slow. Hopefully get some nice threads cut into that. Ooh, this looks like it's working pretty well. It's looking good, actually. A little closer view. All right, already I'm hopeful. This looks like it's, uh, it's gonna be hard to see on camera, but it already looks like it's cutting some pretty nice threads into that. Shit, am I doing this backwards? I just realized I think maybe the numbers need to be on this side. Uh, I'm gonna go read the instructions real quick. All right, so I checked the instructions. It says place the chamfered side of the die onto the workpiece. Uh, so I think I'm doing this backwards. I don't know. I can't tell which side is chamfered. They both look kind of chamfered to me. Uh, but I'm going to put the numbers out. So we'll start over, and hopefully this is didn't make any difference. And it also says add some cutting oil, so like some WD-40 or some PB Blaster. get that nice and lubed up and like I said go back and forth after you know every quarter or half a turn and that'll get all the shavings out make sure it's not binding up anywhere WD-40 seemed to help a lot actually so we're just working this slowly going back and forth when you get to the cutting new threads just go you know quarter or half a turn back it up then go again Looking decent. Oh yeah, now we're cutting deep. Take a picture for Instagram. All right, 
keep going here. All right, I am getting close. Yeah, it's getting tougher because I'm hitting those uh, the couple good good threads that are left. So plenty of uh, penetrating oil. Like I said, WD-40, PB Blaster, whatever you got. So yeah, when I uh, when I spray the WD-40 in there, when I get to the thicker stuff, you can see the big chunks of, uh, that's falling out of the threads. You got these big chunks of metal. That's what you're cutting away. Uh, the WD-40 really helps, uh, you know, slide that stuff out of there and keep your, your cuts nice and clean. So spray it often. You can never have too much lube. Yeah, I can, uh, I can actually see now that I'm on the old, the last bit of threads there that are good and it's getting really tough to cut. And I think I just bottomed out. Ah, shit. Yep, <laughs> I was at the uh, the very bottom. So time to back it out, chase it again a couple times. I'm gonna back this all the way out, spray it down, and then chase it again. Well, there are some threads on there. Not as much as I'd like, but I think it might get the job done. So we're gonna go ahead and do this again. Tap likes it. Let's try a nut. All right, so it doesn't look like I have an M12 by 1.5. Uh, so I'm gonna run to Home Depot and get one. I'm also gonna get an M10 by 1.5, um, just in case I wanna cut those threads a little deeper. So the M12 threads are there, but I don't think they're quite as deep as they should be. Um, and I think it'd probably be better to have thicker threads on, a, you know, really more secure threads on a smaller bolt size. But I'm not sure. So I'm going to get the M12 bolt, see how I like that, see if it feels all right. And uh, if not, we'll cut them down to M10. So Home Depot. And yes, I am driving around without a nut holding the steering wheel on. I don't recommend it. All right, Home Depot. We need M12 by 1.5. All right, so... 12 by 1.5. Well, that looks way too big. Why does that look too big? Because it is way too big. That's an M16. <laughs> Alright. There we go. M12 by 1.5, and we'll get an M10 as well. In case I need to cut that down even more. Yeah. That'll work. All right, we are in the parking lot. We're gonna see if this guy works. Oh yes, now we're talking. Good deal. That, uh, that feels all right, actually. So let's go ahead and drive this home. I am going to get the washer on there. I'm also going to get some red Loctite on there, and I'm not going to honk it down hard because I don't want to hurt those threads. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think that's a, I think that's a success. Let's go ahead and uh, drive home and uh, get this finished up. All right, so the dye worked on the threads. They're not quite as deep as I'd like, so we're going to throw a little dab of red Loctite on there for good measure. So there's the shot of the threads. Not bad. Uh, the nut gets on there fine. But um, anyway, so we got washer first. And then the nut goes on, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Loctite this guy. So, I actually did honk it down pretty tight. Felt good. I am happy with that. There we go. She's solid. No 
we gotta do is put it back together. All right, we are done. That worked out really well. Steering wheel is back on, everything is in place, nice and snug. So uh, let's go ahead and take it for a rip, test it out, make sure we can still turn. And there's no other better way to test your steering wheel than to rip around a roundabout. And it works, awesome. Next up, we're doing injectors and a bunch of other stuff. And we're turning left. Yeah, NASCAR. Everybody's looking at me, buddy. 